we are somewhere towards the end of the 11th century BC. That's more than 3,000 years ago. And we are looking at the place where the epic battle between David and Goliath took place. We are overlooking the Ela Valley, which is lying right in front of us. Um, Ela means terebinth. So in ancient times, that would have been full of trees with a plain in between. And this is where the battle between David and Goliath took place. On one side, the hills in the far, far away distance there, we have the, the site of Zuko. On the other side, we have the site of Azeka, and we are standing on top of a famous archaeological excavation at Kirbet Kayafa, the biblical Sha'ararim. Those three names, Azeka, Zuko, and Sha'ararim, are mentioned in the story of 1 Samuel 17, which describes the battle between David and Goliath. If we look down into the valley, towards the bottom of this hill, this is where the Israelite army would have camped. On the other side of the valley, against the hill, against Sukkot on the other side, they would have. this is where the Philistine army would have camped. They were facing each other for day, with Goliath coming forth, there where we see the cars driving along with Goliath coming forth, forth from the from the army camp and throwing insults towards the Israelites, which were on this side. In between the two, and we can't see right from up here, but we see all the green, um, the green vegetation. This is where a creek, a river, runs through. So the river was between the Israelite army and the Philistine army. This is the river that David went to to select his sling stones, the fatal weapon that would eventually destroy the giant. He went down to the creek and got five stones. Um, probably these were sling stones that he worked himself, and he was, he was a trained slinger, a very lethal weapon when used by a trained slinger. And he took those stones, and it took only one stone to kill the giant, right down there in front of us, more than 3,000 years ago. We hiked down from, from Kirit Kayafa. We're now at the bottom of the, of the fortress, looking back towards these cliffs here. The modern name, Arabic name, Kirit Kayafa, the modern name Kayafa means actually cliff, the lime cliff, and we see that very well behind us here. Um, this is this is the creek. We're standing in the creek. Of course, in Israel, most rivers don't carry water during the summer um, when it's hot. So this is where David would probably look for a stone, five stone to be exact, although in the end he needed only one. But um, let's look for one. That looks like a good stone. Sling stones in Israel and in ancient times were not little pebbles. We mustn't think of small little pebbles. But they would have been something the size of a fist. You know? and, and David, of course, as an experienced slinger, he would have been able to still cut them to improve their, their flying capabilities, and he knew how to do that, to turn this, this pebble, riverbed pebble, into a lethal projectile that would eventually kill the giant. 